The Courier Saga comes to an end in Lonesome Road, the fourth and final downloadable installment for Fallout New Vegas. Intended to put a tiny bow on the origin story that's seeded through the sprawling game, this chapter naturally has a heavy focus on narrative, eschewing much of the open-endedness we've come to associate with Fallout. Sure, it provides closure and a veritable info dump of exposition, but is it enough to keep you focused on its linear track? This will keep you on your feet. Only if you're the kind of person who scoured the wasteland tracking down the mysterious Ulysses gravelly recordings and is dying to know exactly why the courier was saddled with the accursed platinum chip. Otherwise, especially after experiencing the cleverly wrought mini sandbox that was Old World Blues, you're likely to chafe at Lonesome Road's meticulous direction. If strength what you respect, then you belong east of the Colorado. From the get-go, the shadowy Ulysses is never ambiguous as to where he wants you to go. Like other DLC installments, you're directed to a specific site in the wasteland, and upon arrival, you're told in no unclear terms that the Lonesome Road takes its title literally. You can't take any companions with you, though your arsenal is unrestricted. The story takes place in the Divide, a twisted badland that's stark even in comparison to the rest of Fallout's ravaged world. See, the Courier is tied to an unspecified catastrophe that befell the region some time back, and Ulysses is determined to have you reckon with your role in it. The mysterious man becomes even more prosaic as he guides you from map point to map point toward the final confrontation, and by the time you emerge from the gauntlet, which consists of some of the most difficult encounters the game has yet seen, you'll probably be ready to shut him up for good. Roleplay be damned. Lonesome Road's coolest trick involves a laser detonator you find early on that you use to set off dormant warheads buried in the rubble, enabling you to set traps for enemies and open up hidden paths. The problem, though, is that the setting is too rigidly designed to really take advantage of this. You never feel as if you're using this spectacular tool for real exploration. It's more like a key to an overly elaborate lock, or worse, a super destructive exploding canister to take out groups of helpless enemies. As always, there are fringe benefits to buying in. If you finish Lonesome Road, Ed E will get some cool powers once you return to the Wasteland, and the five-level bump in the cap is always welcome for those who don't need a more compelling reason to fully ransack New Vegas' sandbox. Moreover, depending on your decisions at the end, you could very well find yourself dealing with some profound consequences. Unless you're just dying to close out the Courier's tail, though, there's no real reason to shell out the full $10 for Lonesome Road right now. However important its place in the lore may be, this DLC simply doesn't play very well to the main game's strengths. There's a lesson here in the Divide. Old world history about paving and intentions could teach the Republic a thing or two, if they listened. Yeah.